video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a Shopify app that converts e-commerce store into mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hello, welcome to Educate E-commerce, your one-stop destination for Shopify tutorials and e-commerce solutions. So today in this video, I'll show you how you can add Google Analytics into your store. So we add Google Analytics to track website performance and collect visitor insights. So it's very necessary that you have these settings to know your page visits, the performance, the user demographics, user behavior, and you can use that to help enhance your uh, marketing campaigns, drive traffic and retain customers. So let's see how this is done. So to move forward, firstly, you need to add a uh, Google Analytics or you have to create an account in Google Analytics. So let's go for that. So in a new tab, go to Google and analytics.google.com. So this will be the page that you will be uh, getting uh, when you enter the analytics.google.com. So here, click on start measuring. So first thing is the account setup. So you need to uh, set your uh, Google Analytics account. So here you can start uh, with adding a page name or whatever the account name that you need to. So you can add multiple uh, websites to a single Google Analytics account. So this will be the account details. So here uh, you can see what all are including. So you are uh, like you need Google products, benchmarking, technical support and account specialist. So all you can check mark all these boxes. So click on next and here you need to add the property name. So the property names will be uh, the uh, store page or uh, the website name, etc. So uh, I'm adding the same plans. Uh, that's the website that I'm using. And here you can add the time zone, whatever time zone that you are in. So I'm going to add India. So you can uh, choose whatever uh, you are uh, convenient with. And uh, again, I'm choosing INR. So if you are from US, you can add USD or whatever currency that you're using. So here you can click on to the show advanced option. So uh, we need to create an universal analytics property to add to our website. So you need to do that for a professional website. So I'm going to click on to enable and here you need to add the website URL. So you can go back to your website and copy paste the website URL. And let me add this here. You can remove the HTTP from this link so here uh, we are uh, we have added the analytic uh, url so uh, there is another option you can add the google analytics 4 and the universal property so google analytics 4 is a new version newer version of the google analytics uh, and the universal analytic property is what uh, was existing for a very long time so i'll be uh, getting more into that so here you need to create both analytics 4 and google analytics property i'll show you how you can set up the analytics 4 as well so you can click on to the next here and uh, click all the boxes that you might need. Uh, you might need the data, you need to optimize up advertising course, increase conversion, uh, content monetization, uh, maybe we know we don't need uh, then the analyzing either so uh, sales and so if you have an app, you can also do that and measure the lead generation. So for that, you can just click on to create. So now you will be getting the terms and service agreement. So you can click on to checkbox that and uh, click on I accept. So upon doing that, your Google Analytics will be uh, done and also a property, a new property will be also uh, done. So here, this is the web stream details. So this is the website and this is the measurement ID right here. And all these informations are there. So uh, firstly, we will be needing this Google site tag and also some other things. Uh, let's uh, get on to that later. So now uh, uh, you can just click on to save uh, in this page. Uh, let's go back to our website and here uh, let's go to online store and here click on to preferences. So this is where we are connecting the Google Analytics account that we have created to our website. So here uh, you'll be able to see a Google Analytics section right here. So uh, we need to paste a Google code. Uh, this is the, co the code we have to paste here. So for that, you can go back to your website and uh, you can go to the UA account, the uh, universal uh, analytics account. And uh, you can go to the tracking info. So here uh, in the admin, you can go to the tracking info and look for the tracking code. So you'll be given with a tracking code. And this is the tracking code for my website. I'm just going to copy it and paste it right here. So this is the Google Analytics uh, uh, tag or the analytics account details. 
uh, so for more information on how to set up how to do that everything is here on when you click on to the how do i set up option you will be able to see all those things so now you just need to click on to save so now your website is linked with the google analytics so this here you will be able to see ua uh, is already there now you can use the enhance e-commerce option right here so uh, you when you just check on to that uh, a new enhanced uh, e-commerce feature is also enabled in your website so enable uh, you have to enable that again in the analytics option so here uh, when you, uh, when you are done with this let's go back and here there is e-commerce settings the admin section here the e-commerce setting so you can just click on to enable e-commerce you can just turn it on and also you can enable the enhanced e-commerce reporting for more enhanced features the funnel sales and everything will be doing another video soon so i'm just going to save this and the e-commerce setup is also done and ua is also done so next we're going to see how you can set up GA4 onto your uh, website. So for that, uh, let's go back. Let's go back to our website. And here, when you go to the theme section, so what uh, the difference between a GA4 and a UA is that the measurement uh, model that they use. So as I said, UA is a very old, uh, that's been using by the Google for a long time. And GA4 is the newer version of the Google Analytics. So the measurement is different. So uh, when a UA measures the uh, page views, sessions, uh, user engagement, all those, the GA4 uh, measures it as an event or a parameter. So all of the page views or whatever, it is considered to be an event specifically. And then it'll, it may have tags like it's a page view or it's a, uh, a visit or a bounce back etc so uh, we are in the theme section uh, you will be able to see this page and here click on to the action on whichever theme that we are using then click on to edit code so uh, uh, here uh, you will be having a different uh, you will be adding the uh, code or the analytics code into each of the page of your website each of the web page so that there is a specific event or whenever a user visit any page in your website it will be tracked properly so for that you need to go to the layout section and here you will be able to see the theme liquid option uh, so uh, you need to edit the code uh, here in the header section you need to add a new piece of code and here for that we're going to go back to the analytics account and here uh, we have chosen the uh, ua section so let's go to the ga4 and in the ga4 section you will be able to see the data streams here you need to click on to the data stream and uh, this will be the data stream uh, which is the website that you have you are using and you're just going to click this and here you will be able to see the global site tag you need to just click on to that and copy the code right here. Now we have to add this in the header section. So here, let's click on to next and add the code. So once adding the code, if it doesn't go right or uh, if uh, the code is wrong or anything, if uh, you are facing any difficulties, you can just go back to the older version right here. So I'm just going to save this and uh, the ua version and the ga4 is now installed in your website so you can track this every track every details in your uh, website so you just go to go to the home section right here and uh, after a 30 minutes now we have just set up after a 30 minutes of time you will be able to see the users per minute and everything here so this is the ga4 analytics again if you are going for the ua analytics uh, you will be able to see that as well in here when you switch it to the UI version. So here you'll be able to see the users, conversion rates, and the traffic channel, source, mediums, active users, user retention. All of the details will be available in the UA section. And you can uh, again go for the GA4 section as well. So uh, it totally depends on the parameters that you uh, need to decide. Uh, so once you set up set up the both, you'll be able uh, get you'll be able to get hang of the things. But I'll recommend go for the GA4 as it is the new one and is definitely better comparing to the UA version. So that's it. That's all about uh, today's video on how to set up Google Analytics in your website for your Shopify store. So I hope this video helped you. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. We'll see you in another video. Bye.